Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sam and I am so excited to have you all back here with me again this week. If you are new here and this is the first time you are seeing my face, welcome. I make weekly videos dissecting internet nonsense, so if you're into that type of thing or you like today's video, I hope that you'll consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out the channel and make sure you never miss another upload from me. Today is a shower thoughts video kind of day. And if you've never been here for a Sam's shower thought video before, welcome. <laughs> They're very fun, short form content where I really just wanna talk about something that interests me, but it doesn't necessarily require a long form video. Um, and typically they also don't require a lot of research or scripting and editing really is just to make them fun and a lively conversation. <laughs> And sometimes I just want to share the things that are on my brain bugging me so that we can talk about them together. And today, the thing I want to talk about is a clip that I saw where a woman was saying it's very hard to make friends as a fat person. I feel like making friends as a big girl is hard. This specific video popped up on my For You page a little while ago. I've been sitting with this for a while. It's been deep in the archives of my brain. <laughs> And that's why I always say these videos are kind of like seeing the inner workings of my brain because what has happened is it's been in there and it's leading me to think about all the times I've been online and we've seen fat or plus size people be really mean to their friends. It made me think of all the times I've seen them be overtly negative and show zero empathy for their thin friends especially when they're struggling with their own self-image or self-esteem issues. And worse, they often take their friends' issues and make them about themselves. And as I was just kind of sitting with this and trying to figure out how I might talk about it here on the channel, the one and only Anna from Glitter and Lasers popped up and she shared this gem. I can't quite put my finger on why this video bothers me so much, but it really, really does. And I don't know if that's because maybe if Anna just pulled the sweater out of her armpits where she has it bunched up, it looks like it might be snug, but it also looks like it would probably fit her the way most of her clothes fit her. Maybe it's that she's just, again, poking fun at this trope of like, thin people definitely don't get fat people. Maybe it's bothering me because if this is indeed a real story, which I highly doubt it is in Anna's case, but let's pretend that it is. She could have had a very real and meaningful conversation with someone who she is calling a friend. And rather than do that, she made this video, which does exactly nothing except for drive forward the narrative of fats versus thins, which is already a problematic conversation that keeps happening on TikTok specifically. And that might seem like an exaggeration, but I can't even tell you how many times I've just been scrolling Reddit, reading my own subreddits, things that I enjoy reading, and it will push me a post from the plus size subreddit or something similar, where plus size people are saying really awful things about their friends because they are thin. The titles of their posts are always something like, when my skinny friend says they're fat, my skinny friends make me uncomfortable, or I am sick of my skinny friends talking about fat. Then within those posts, there are always these awful comments encouraging these plus size people to say really cruel things to their friends. They'll say things like, if you think you're fat, then what am I? I love knowing that looking like me is your biggest fear. And that's a weird thing to say to a fat person. Then even on top of that, there are all the memes and Tumblr posts that say things like, it's not my job to comfort my insecure thin friends. And I have thin friends who eat like garbage and are probably rotting on the inside. Yeah, these are all very real things that I have found plus size people saying about their friends on the internet. Could you imagine if a thin person said any of those things about a fat person? How that might turn out? 
these are things that I can't even fathom thinking about my friends, let alone saying about my friends, because they're my friends, and I genuinely love them, and they're people that I'm close enough to to have very hard conversations with when I need to. So when I saw that woman at the beginning of the video saying things like, it's really hard to make friends as a fat person, that stuck with me because of all of these things that I've seen. And it made me think, is it really hard to make friends as a fat person? Or is it that fat people, especially fat women, tend to be really, really cruel to their so-called friends, especially on very public online platforms? As I said, could you imagine being Anna's friend and seeing that video go up? Could you imagine seeing your friend online making a video and it's a hypothetical conversation where you're going to share your insecurities with them and then their response is, I'm going to bust your brain? What if they posted a video and you saw them saying that if you as their thin friend shared your insecurities that they were going to start calling you Fatty McFatty. My cat died today. Get a new one. What if you saw your friends talking about the way you share your insecurities on a podcast where even though they've tried to do it anonymously, the other hosts know exactly who they're talking about. And then they start to talk about how your issues shame them. I have a friend who I absolutely love and adore, but I think she's on her own confidence journey and you guys, every time we take a picture, she looks at it and she's like, whoa, who let the heifer in here? Stop. She's like, that whale is coming. I barely no. fit through the door. She's like, I barely fit through the door. Like, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I can't even imagine doing something like this. And it kind of makes me want to, like, disappear into myself as a person who is still fat. Because I do actually genuinely care about my friends. And I would never, ever do something like this to them because it's called mutual respect. They respect me. I respect them. And by doing the things we've just seen, they're degrading that respect within the relationship. Whether they want to recognize that or not, they're the ones creating a toxicity here. And I guess for me, it begs the question of if these people even really care about their so-called friends. And I ask that because even recently, I have seen so many posts where the thin friend hasn't even done anything wrong, but the fat friend is just waiting for it to happen. So I'm gonna show you an example. I stumbled across a post where the poster shares a story about how her friend went out to lunch with her and stopped eating when she was full. This made the person who posted feel very uncomfortable and though her friend never judged her or made comments, this person said, and I quote, and I mentioned her being skinny because with my bigger friends, I don't feel this way. I know they won't judge me for eating a lot, but I don't know if my skinny friend would. I was too scared to even eat fast in fear that she might judge me. So they've just admitted that they've pushed their insecurity off on their thin friend even though the thin friend didn't do anything wrong and wasn't judgmental and didn't say anything that was harmful, they're still wrong. And they're still somehow hurting their fat friend despite not doing any of those things. And as I was sitting with even this information and thinking again about how I might share it and where this might become valuable to a conversation, I remembered that I had this clip sitting deep in the dusty archives. This is your friendly fat reminder from the said fat friend that for summer activities, if it requires me to get in or on something, you need to check if there's a weight limit. And if there is a said weight limit, we need to have a conversation because it will be embarrassing for all and or more so me if I cannot participate in said activity. Thank you. And I really love this one because she starts out saying this is a fat friendly reminder when her tone is anything but friendly. 
And while I get what she's trying to say and what she's trying to do here, there is always a fear of being unintentionally excluded due to a weight or a size limit. To make that your friend's problem and then also make this video about it is a really, really crappy thing to do. And again, I still really don't understand why there's the assumption that her friends would want to exclude her from activities. Talking to and about people who are supposed to be your friends on the internet will never not be wild to me. Because does this person not have friends who have social media who might see these posts about them? And who might be left feeling like, well, if this person's never going to tell me how they feel, and they're going to talk about me this way, do I want to be their friend? Do they want to be my friend? Or even, am I gonna invite them to things in the future? Is it worth my trouble? I just, I have clearly been thinking about this for a while. It's the purpose of making it a shower thoughts video. But as with every video like this, I am always left feeling like I just, need to have all the answers, but the truth is you can't have all the answers all the time. And I don't know if these people would want to continue to be friends after they've seen this content online. I know I sure wouldn't. And I also know that every time I have experienced cruelty like this in my life, it has come from a person who is bigger than me, never a friend who is smaller than me. And I think that that speaks volumes. And that just leaves me wondering, is it really hard for big girls to make friends? Or is it that big girls tend to be bad friends who are cruel that people have just decided they don't want to put up with anymore? I am genuinely curious at this point to know what you all think about that, because that really is the question that I'm left with. And again, we can't have all the answers, unfortunately. So I wanna know what you think. Do you see this? Have you seen plus size women being really cruel to their friends online and then claiming that it's hard for them to keep friends? Have you seen posts like I have where they're just being really cruel and really hurtful and taking their friends' issues as their own? Because to me, it's the self-centeredness that I am just like, you need some self-awareness ASAP <laughs> because in my opinion, I mean, that's got to be one of the reasons that it's so hard to keep friends. You've got to be a little bit self-aware about how the things you do and the things you say affect people. And I feel like a lot of times, especially online and especially within the fat acceptance and fat liberation movements, that is severely lacking. So I am curious to know what you think, and I hope you'll leave your opinions for me in the comment section because you always come so prepared, and I love reading your opinions and your thoughts, so please share them for me down below. And for all my introvert friends out there who may not feel comfortable leaving your opinion in an internet comment section, this week I really want you to go ahead and leave me a sweater emoji because I swear to God if Anna just pulled that sweater out of her armpits, it would fit her perfectly. I'm just saying. As always, thank you all so, so much for being here with me this week. I will see you in the next one. Bye.